Sometimes I wonder which amendment is more maligned, either the Second Amendment or the Fourth Amendment. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. I've titled this video with the same title as the Forbes article, which I will link in the description below, uh, which is actually a, a very good article from Forbes, surprisingly, uh, regarding this issue. So here's the short story of what has happened to get us to this point. Uh, you can read the article below for more detailed description. Basically, this couple got in a fight. Uh, the police ended up getting called. They ended up coming over. They talked to this guy slash twisted his arm into getting to go check himself into a mental institution for a couple days. Uh, and then while he was gone, they told him they wouldn't do this, but while he was gone, they went in, they told his wife that he gave us permission to take his guns and they took his guns. And that was it. Uh, so they did not have a warrant. They didn't have any kind of probable cause or whatever. They filed this under community caretaking and, and that's what they said that gave them the right to do this. Uh, and now this is before the Supreme Court to know, was that a legal search and seizure or not? Now, in general, probably this is going to come uh, down on the side that it was illegal. It, it very well should. If it doesn't, that's going to be a huge, huge, huge problem, which we'll try to talk about in a minute. But the first thing I want you to think about is, imagine what the state of the Fourth Amendment needs to be in order for this to get all the way to the Supreme Court. Imagine all the failures along the way that had to get to the Supreme Court on something that's a pretty clear issue. Um, this isn't new ground. This isn't new territory. This is pretty clear. Uh, the cops had to think they had the authority to do that in the first place. So they're oath breakers. Um, you know, all that goes with the people who actually did it when their leadership and everything else, right? They didn't get fired for doing this as far as I know. Um, you know, the local government in place there, the mayor, the city council, etc., uh, the county commissioners, whoever that happens to be. So all those, all those people failed. They failed this family. They failed your rights. Then, of course, the first time it goes to court, whatever court that is, the judge has to be like, you know what? Uh, yeah, this is legit that the cops can just come into your house whenever they want uh, based on flimsy nothingness and take what they need. Then after that, of course, there's multiple levels of appeals. I don't know exactly how many before we get all the way to the Supreme Court. So along the way, the Fourth Amendment is being pillaged like Genghis Khan is coming through town. And no one seems too concerned. And now we get to the Supreme Court and the current administration is fighting to keep this to be a normal thing. That the government can come into your house whenever they want without any warrant or purpose and just take what they need. I'm going to read the text of the Fourth Amendment. I don't have this one memorized because it's a little bit longer. Uh, the right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated. And no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause, supported, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. So you have to have a warrant. It has to very specifically say where they're going to search and what they're looking for. You can't just wander in and get stuff, right? The police cannot just enter your house when they feel like it. If this were to go bad, if, if the Supreme Court comes down and says, yep, this was legit, not a problem here, what that means is the police can basically enter your house anytime they feel like it and do whatever they want. It completely undermines the Fourth Amendment. Um, completely strips it away. Now, the Fourth Amendment is already in, in a sad, sad state. Every time you go through the airport, that should be pretty clear to you. But this would obviously be, be the, last, the last straw. This would be the end of the Fourth Amendment in America. And like I said, in general, I think it's probably going to go the way it should. However, it's so scary and sad to me. And what does that say about the state of the nation that this very clear-cut case needed to go all the way to the Supreme Court? That's the sad and scary part to me. Uh, again, the, the current progressive agenda doesn't care about your rights. They don't. And they're going to keep coming for them and coming for them. And they'll take every avenue and power structure they can in order to remove those rights from you. Why, why not? Why don't we just put cameras in your house to make sure you're wearing your mask in your house? After all, we got to take care of the community and we got to be safe. 
If you think I'm being hyperbolic, just wait a little longer. Do brave deeds and endure.